going on everybody in this video I want to show you how to do a really easy shadow effect on your 2d games so you can see I have these walls here and on the corner you can see a shadow and this is just kind of a paintball game that I've been making uh, you know I just got the guns to work so check this out it has some recoil effects so it kind of splatters paintballs everywhere anyway that's not what this video is about I'm gonna show you how to do these shadows so let's go ahead and do it close this game now if I run it again, you can see what the walls look like without the shadows. So go ahead and run it. Okay, so here is the game again, and here are the walls without the shadows. So let's go ahead and add that into our game. Uh, we're going to make a script, and we're going to call this script uh, draw under slash shadow. And this is going to have two arguments. And this is basically the code that you're going to put in. Draw under slash sprite under slash ext sprite indexed image under slash index and then x plus argument zero and then y plus argument zero. And then we are going to, let's see, image under slash x scale, image under slash y scale image under slash angle c under slash dark gray and then argument one this is the only code for the script but draw shadow is a lot easier than writing this out every time you want to do a shadow so basically uh, what the two arguments are is argument zero and argument one argument zero will be uh, where we want the shadow to be and argument one will be how transparent we want the shadow to be or in other words how thick we want it to be so the next thing we do is we have our walls here we have wall A and wall B and this wall is A this wall is B and uh, that's just how I have my graphics set up and in wall A and wall B let's do wall A first before draw self we're going to add draw shadow and the first argument again is where we want the shadow to be. Let's put about 10 pixels out and then we'll put 0.5 for it and that's how thick the shadow will be. Do the same for wall B. Just go ahead and copy and paste that code and then draw self just draws out whatever the sprite index is and we'll run the game. But you're gonna notice we're gonna encounter a slight problem so I'll show you what that is. So when we play the game the shadows kind of work but you can see these dark lines and basically the shadow is overlapping the sprites next to it so we need to fix that so let's close the game I just wanted to show you this problem that it creates because I'm going to teach you a neat trick on how to fix stuff like that so let's go ahead and remove draw shadow from our two objects What I normally do is create an object called CON, which stands for controller, under slash GUI. And this controls all the GUI for my entire game. I already have some code in here, so just ignore this because this is for a health bar that's already in the game. But we'll start something new right here. And we will do this code with under slash OBG under slash wall A, or whatever wall object you're using. We're going to draw we're going to draw shadow and we're just basically going to use the same exact code and we're going to do the same thing for wall B draw shadow 10.5 and basically it's saying okay with these objects draw these shadows now the problem we were having with the dark lines in the shadow overlapping of the sprites was a depth problem so what we're going to do is for a con under slash gy we want to make sure the depth is set to one and we want to make sure our objects for our walls are their depth is set to zero so you got to make sure your gui that's going to handle this code has a higher depth than your wall code and that'll basically fix up our problem run the game And there you have it, it fixed the problem right up. And now we don't have those dark lines in our walls and uh, 
you can see I, my guy can just kind of walk through the wall, so that's great. Uh, we don't have the lines there, and the shadows look uh, pretty good. So, you know, this is incredibly basic, but it is a nice little trick, especially if you're a beginner on Game Maker, and you just want to add a nice little effect to your walls in Game Maker. Uh, anyway, if you liked the video, if this helped you, click the like button if you need help, or you like the video, you can leave a comment. And if you want to see more of these videos, click that subscribe button. Again, if you need any help, just let me know, and I'll be sure to do my best to help you out. All right, see you guys.